In this example we will track how it is done in the correct order to perform fill welds, cosmetic weld and generate weld cords reports. We will also change the names of the weld strands for better control and organization of the report. For this example, we will use this assembly, which is already assembled and prepared to receive the solder strands. This system consists of one cylindrical tube, two 90 degrees curved connections, one base plate, two square pipes and two square tube support plates. Let's start by welding the cylindrical tube into the base plate. For this, the fill weld will be applied, as it is the best fit for this situation. Rounding weld would also work, but the finish wouldn't look good. To apply fill weld, we activate the welds command, and click on the groove thule. In face set 1, we will select the tube. And in face set 2, we select the base plate. Note that the weld cord has not yet been applied, as it still remains to tell the inventor what the direction of the weld will be. In fill direction, we click on the selection arrow, and select any vertical edge, because this is the direction of filling this cord. We click OK and that's it, the cylindrical tube is welded into the base plate. Now we will apply the solder on the joining of the other parts. In this case we will use cosmetic weld. We'll start by welding the union between the cylindrical tube and the 90 degrees curved connections. We activate the welds command, and we click cosmetic to apply cosmetic weld. We now select the edges that we want to apply the weld strands, which are precisely the meeting edges between the cylindrical tube and the 90 degrees curved connections. The area of this cord will be 8 mm squared. We click apply and that's it, the cylindrical tube is welded into the 90 degrees curved connections. We will now weld the square pipes on the base plate and the square tube support plates. Since the cosmetic weld window is already activated, we will select the edges that we want to apply the welds. To facilitate the selection, in select mode we will choose the option chain, which selects the entire edge contour. We click on the edges that will be welded. These weld strands will have 12 mm squared of area. We click OK and that's it, the whole system is soldered. In return, we're out of welds command. In the browser, opening the welds menu, and then beads, we find all the soldering strands made. By double clicking on the symbol of each one of them, we enter the window to create these welds and can modify them. By double clicking paused, slowly, on the name of the weld, we can change the name of this string. We will change the name of the cords to make it easier to identify in the report that will be created. Let's rename Groove Weld 1 to Cylindrical Tube Weld on Base Plate. We exchange cosmetic weld 1 for cylindrical tube weld on 90 degrees curved connections. And we renamed cosmetic weld 2 for square tube welds.
we launch the Beat Report tool and click Next. We save the report to the desired folder. Alright, the report is done. Note that the ID is with the different name of the welds, which facilitates the organization and identification of each weld cord. In this example we have seen in practice how the welding step is done until the welding report is generated, in the correct order, applying fill weld and cosmetic weld.